What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be telling you how to record your screen with different screen recorders. Okay, so just before I get into this video, like I say, this is a requested tutorial as you see on the screen right now. With that being said, if you'd like to request a tutorial on Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12, 13, Photoshop, After Effects, or even Cinema 4D, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Now, I just want to say I'm sorry for not uploading in the past week. I have been really busy with a Minecraft server for you guys. It's actually currently out right now. Link is on the screen. It's in beta. So hopefully I can see you guys there. I've been working on it for the past two weeks. And I've been busy with college. That is the reason why the uploads haven't been that good. But... It's all good now, uploads will come back to normal. So getting straight into this video, it's really simple. We're giving you three different screen recorders you can use, one which is specifically for games, and two others which can be recorded for screen or just games as well. So we start off the one with games, and of course, for me personally, it has to be Fraps. This is the one I use for when I record Minecraft, and I have no problems. Now, people complain about the file size. Well, I've made a video how to reduce file size from like 56 gigabyte to about 200 megabyte. It's really simple. You can go ahead and check that out. It'll be in the description. So this is Fraps. Now, it is a paid one, of course. It's fairly cheap, so you can download it so you can get a little trial. Or, of course, if you come to buy, that's it right there. £24, which is, I believe, like $35 maybe. I'm not too sure. But there you go. It's fairly cheap. And with a download one, which is just the demo, I think you can only record about 30 seconds and then the recording will stop and start again. So you might just want to go ahead and pay for it straight away or just go ahead and find the crack. Now the only downside to this, that it does not support Mac, as you can see right there. So Mac users, I'm afraid you cannot use this. And if you would like a tutorial on how to use Fraps, then be sure to leave in the comments below. Now the next one is 100% free. It's called OBS or Open Broadcast Software. This is said to be a very high-end broadcaster as well as screen recorder. Now, I've never used it, but I've downloaded it. I've seen the interface. It does look pretty good. Now, for those that have used XSplit, it does remind me of the user interface of that. But this is it right here. It's 100% free, which makes this even better. And it's a streamer, and you can also just record your screen. So it's just a two-in-one for free. And you can see it's available for 32-bit and 64-bit. And it's also available for Windows, Linux, and Mac. And there you are right there. You can select different versions for what you would like. Now, like I said, I've never used OBS. But if you guys would like a tutorial on OBS, how to use it, I'll learn it and make the video for you. Now, the final one I'm going to show you is the one I use for all my tutorials. And it is Camtasia Studio 8. And it's by TechSmith. Now, this does come at a bit of a cost. So... This is it right here, Camtasia. So let's just go click this. And you can see you can get a free trial before actually buying it. So that's good. Now the free trial is a bit better. The only thing you get on the free trial is a watermark on your screen. So that's the only downside to it. And if we come to buy PC, that means Windows. You can get it on Windows and Mac. Come to this one right here. I'm not sure if the prices will vary, but this is for Mac. So for Mac, it is £65.24, and that's with VAT £78, which is around $100, $90, something like that. And then for PC, it's going to be 197 oh wait, £236, which is around $250, I believe. So, like I said, it does come at a cost, but is it worth it? Personally, yes and no. I mean, you can use this, but then again... OBS is said to be a very high-end quality product, so you can go ahead and use that, which is 100% free, but personally, I use this one right here. So yeah, that is it for this video. Hopefully, I've given you some useful information on screen recorders, and hopefully now you can go ahead and stream with Open Broadcast or just record with any other software I have given you. Now, like I said, if you like a tutorial on any of the programs I have shown you in this video, then be sure to leave in the comments below. And yeah, like I said, I start the video if you like to request a tutorial on Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12, 13, Photoshop, After Effects, or even Cinema 4D, then be sure to leave in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. With that being said, be sure to go ahead and follow me on Twitter or I'll keep you updated when I'm be posting and what I'm be posting. Also, be sure to go ahead and check out my gaming channel. I post three to four times a week. And finally, be sure to go ahead and add me on Snapchat or if you want to do throughout my day. See so yeah, you guys been casual subject. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.